Valentine's Day. Not only Valentine's Day, but it's Imagination Station. We love them too here on WTL on your day. Sarah Neff is here with Paper Towers. Yes. All righty, talk about this. So I didn't bring any edible chocolate cakes or any That's crazy okay because flowers. I'm going to have a stomach ache at this point <laughs> right. if, if we keep on going with that. So you do have paper towels and we're going to learn a little bit about science with these. We are. Um, actually, this is one of my favorite activities that we do during the whole year. We have the paper tower challenge coming up mm -hmm. on Monday. So we're actually open on President's Day and we're hosting the paper tower challenge. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but okay. there's some rules with this, there right? There are a few rules. So explain the rules and what you have to do with the tower. All right. So each tower is made out of nothing more than newspaper paper and masking tape. Mm -hmm. All right, we have these supplies on hand. Our friends at the Blade gave us lots of leftover newspaper, so we have plenty to go around. And the object here is to build a paper tower that is at least 18 inches tall. Okay. Okay. And can support the weight of a baseball. All right. All right. So we're all about the engineering process. We're actually finishing up engineering week right now. And um, so this is kind of going to bring everything to an end at Monday's event. Is this your creation, this one? I cannot take credit for this okay. one. This is one of last year's entries, actually. Okay. Um, so, like I said, it has to be at least 18 inches tall and support a baseball. It was a successful one, This one apparently. we can call it a success, but, of course, we can't just have two rules, right? Okay. That would be crazy. Not at the Imagination Station. So, I also have this van. Of so, course you do. <laughs> you just happen to have it with I you. I just happen to have All this right. van. So, not only is it 18 inches tall, supports a baseball, but it needs to withstand the weight of a fan. Unfortunately, this one didn't quite make it, okay? But that's okay, because that's all part of the design process, right? You think it, you build it, mm -hmm. you test it, and then you do it again. You can make modifications. To make it better. Perfect. All right. Right? So I'm gonna move these out of the way, and let's take a couple other designs here. All right, so this one definitely meets our criteria. And this is a great opportunity for families to work together. So if you want to see if you can balance that baseball on top of this tower. All right. Perfect. Maybe. Whoa. Maybe. And like I said, you can always go back and modify. That's what's great about engineering because most time okay. engineers don't get it right the first time, right. do they? Right. They have criteria. This one's a little tricky. It has kind of a sure cradle is. on top. All right. Standing. Should we turn on our fan? So I think I know one, what's going to happen with this one. Yeah, this one, again, last week I actually talked about some cross bracing and how that is helpful. And so maybe this just needs a few more modifications. All right. And there are a whole lot of different avenues that you can hey, go, right? I like this one. All right, so we can try this one. Shall we one. try it? No, I can take credit for this one. You can? I can. I don't know. We'll see how it stands up to the test. Okay. But it's 18 inches tall, supports the weight of a baseball, stands in front of our fan. It has to be supported for at least 10 seconds. Okay, and that one, all right. That was close. It was It was close, so all maybe right. I need to make some modifications to it. Okay. Now, this seems to be a very popular design, the, the tripod or the TP, all right. So go ahead and put your baseball up there. Now, the very last rule is that we're also looking for the lightest tower. So uh, okay. kind of using so your materials. So who can do it with the least amount of material right, too? Right, right, to be efficient. So we've got, 18 inches tall, we're supporting a baseball. This one's rocking. We're standing up for 10 seconds, and there's actually not too much newspaper here. You know what the design reminds me of? If the parents have been to a t-ball game, yeah. it reminds me of you know, a t-ball standing. Right, and of course, last but not least, in engineering, aesthetics, are always important. Oh, boy. Now, we are not grading or judging on aesthetics, mm -hmm. just the other criteria, the building and the structure. Sure. But, I mean, who doesn't love googly eyes and pipe cleaner hair? I, I like this one. I do, too. It's pretty <laughs> this cute, cool. right? So give me the wrap-up really quick of uh, this week is going to be going on. What are you guys going to be doing? What are the competitions going to be happening? Well, this is on Monday from 12 to 4. Okay. Um, families are more than welcome to build their towers at home using newspaper masking tape, and they can bring them down to Imagination Station and enter them And there. you guys have the rules on your website as well? We do, ImaginationStationToledo.org, and we have prize packs for the top three winners. We'll get you hooked up with that on yep. our website as well so you guys can uh, join in on that competition. Sarah, thank you so much. You're Appreciate your time. Another success.